All right, what kind of fun do I have for you today? Let's see, let's do something with partial derivatives. So I wanna find the partial derivatives of the energy of a dipole pointed in the y direction from a wire that carries current in the z direction. So that wire is going to create a magnetic field, that magnetic field that's going to have a um, effect on that dipole, and so that dipole is going to have a potential energy associated with it just because it has a force associated with it, right? And so the energy on that of that configuration is going to be the strength of the dipole multiplied by the y coordinate divided by the square of the x and the y coordinates. Uh, that seems pretty simple to play with, all right? And what do I want to find, right? I want to find the partial derivatives. So uh, let's see. I've got three different directions, so I want to find de dx and de dy and the EDZ. All right. Seems sensible to me. All right. So let's see what can we do. Uh, let's just start off and go through this. So um, partial differentiation is not a um, major difficulty. It's just dif differentiation um, for, with the coordinate and not worrying about how much that coordinate changes with the other coordinate or something similar to that if you have functions and things like that. So um, it's, you know, you're not going to have to worry about here um, dy dx. So there is no dy dx. DY, it, you just ignore it. Y is assumed to be a, just like a constant. So for example, this is ddx, so I can just pull the mu y out from the um, numerator and just leave that di denominator, denominator down there and um, take the derivative of that, that's um, minus um, x squared plus y squared uh, squared, minus one over x squared plus y squared squared, excuse me. And then the mu y goes in there and there's also the um, x derivative of the x squared plus y squared, right? x squared plus y squared. All right, how close am I? I'm perfectly fine. All right, so the derivative of um, x squared plus y squared, that is just um, 2x. So we've got minus 2 mu xy over um, x squared plus y squared squared. Simple enough, nothing to it. All right, and we could do the same thing with the um, y direction. In fact, we're supposed to. So d dy mu y x squared plus y squared. All right, and we've got two two parts to this, right? So um, we have mu dy dx over x squared plus y squared plus. Um, mu over, or mu y times d dx one over x squared plus y squared. Awesome, right? So, um, you get those two things equal like that. Um, this guy is simple enough. We have mu um, this is dy, excuse me. We have mu over x squared plus y squared. And we have something similar to what we got over here. We have minus 2 mu y squared over um, x squared plus y squared squared. Um, and normally when we have an issue like this, what we want to do is we want to uh, get the common denominator because that usually clears things up a little bit. So we have mu times x squared plus mu times y squared minus two mu times y squared all over x squared plus y squared. And so we have mu times, or x squared plus y squared, mu times x squared minus y squared over x squared uh, minus y squared squared, okay? Um, 
that seems pretty nice there. And finally, we have um, DEDZ, which is equal to um, DDZ mu y x squared plus y squared. All this stuff is just a constant, so that's equal to zero. All right, so those are these guys here.